the interferons are well there there are three types there's the there's avenex which is a once weekly intramuscular injection beta seron and rebif which are three beta seron is every other day and rebif is three times weekly um, and they're all used to attempt to reduce uh, disease activity relapse rate and disability progression for patients with relapsing remitting um, relapsing really relapsing forms of multiple sclerosis and sometimes also used um, in progressive forms of multiple sclerosis and the interferons they're all injectable so th this is a, um, an, an injection that a nurse generally goes to the home um, trains patients on how to inject there most of the devices um, Avenex doesn't come with one but beta seron and rebif um, come with uh, autojectors. Um, the Avenex doesn't come with one because it's an intramuscular injection. It's a deeper injection, as far as um, I was I was told. But the beta seron and the rebif come with autojectors, um, and patients are taught where to give the injections, how to give the injections, um, and what to look for. Um, the so, some of the side effects that were initially experienced with the interferons when they were first brought on the market um, are a little bit less common nowadays because there's a titration schedule with most of them and even with Avenex there isn't really a titration schedule but you can generate a titration schedule and what I mean by that is you start with a very low dose and you escalate over the course of weeks to the point where you can um, get to the full dose slowly. Um, the side effects I'm referring to are flu-like symptoms. You can feel like pretty knocked out. Um, fevers, chills, um, muscle aches and pains. And of course there are injection site reactions, redness, which is very common and even sometimes okay as long as the skin doesn't really break down. But these are all very common side effects that um, it's helpful because a lot of the companies who produce these drugs have hotlines you can call into um, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, so that if there are any problems with the injections, then there's a nurse, generally a, a live person, ready to receive calls. Um, and the way the medications work are, and the way I explain it, there's a lot of theory that goes into this, but the way I explain the interferons is it's like turning the volume down on your immune system because multiple sclerosis is an uh, autoimmune disease as far as we understand it. Um, and what that means is that the immune system is attacking itself. So the system that you have to fight bacteria and viruses, which is in all of us, something goes wrong with that and your body doesn't recognize that it's attacking yourself. And that's really the definition of an autoimmune disease and the interferons um, work by setting up a large signaling cascade, they, they start the ball rolling in a way that reduces the body attacking itself as far as it's understood. Um, and the medications are not perfect. Um, the medications uh, reduce relapse rate um, and reduce MRI activity to a very significant degree and they're very, very helpful, but that's why there's continued research and research is important because hopefully one day we will find a perfect medicine and we will find you know a medicine that really eliminates relapses and prevents disability